Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in lonely cotton fields. It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience. But now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forest? Or try flushing a flock of bob-white quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem, requires some firepower. Or, if you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. All right. Well, it's Mississippi Acres. Uh, I can hunt alligators and we are going to try to shoot a gator today. Let me adjust the... Uh, screen just a little bit here make sure we're on point and we are on point all right all right all right I have not hunted alligators before but we gonna we gonna hunt them today amongst some other things J Dog says I'm scared of alligators. <laughs> All right, let's call a few folks out. Chris Everett, hello, my friend. Good to see you. Chris was first several days ago when I put the thumbnail up, uh -uh. and uh, good to see you. J Dog's in the house. Art's here. Alligator hunting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this. Well, I'm using the mouse like y'all can see that. Let me let me pick up the right control here. This little area. Hello, Indiana Chris. How are you? This little area right here. If I can get it in the right spot. Is where we're going to be hunting. This little island right here. I have affectionately named this Steve Adams Island because it is from the state of Mississippi and we all know Steve lives in Mississippi. So, little nickname I gave it. So I made a thumbnail for it and sent it to Steve and asked him if it'd be alright if I use it and he gave me his blessing, so... That's what the thumbnail's about. CBA, how you doing? Indiana Chris. All right, so let's look at this island. There is no deer on this island. At least I hadn't seen any. I don't think they're on this island. But let's take a look and see what we got. So we got raccoons. We got some hogs. The alligator zones. And we're just going to hunt. A couple of different things. We got a little a quail. <clears throat> Opossum, how are you? And uh, so, right here is we got a tree stand, and it's basically in the water. And there's an alligator zone right here, and right here. They're all over this thing down here. So we're gonna we're gonna hunt that. Uh, tonight 
and today. So let's go to the tent. I want to get a few supplies out here real quick. And uh, we're going to go hunt alligators and hogs. Uh -uh. Let me see. I'm going to take I'm going to take this out. And this out. I'm going to take one rifle. I'm going to take two rifles, actually, in case we see a raccoon. Big Slim. So we're going to take the 22 Hornet with us. That's it right there. I'm going to cut down on the weapons we're going to carry, and the reason is is because I am going to need some night vision binoculars to spot these alligators. We're going to take that out, that out, that out, that out. We're going to put in 22 Hornet ammo. <clears throat> we're going to take that out. And we're going to need this. Night vision binoculars. I mean scope rather. And we're going to need the night vision binoculars. As well. And that was those right there. All right. Let's set this up. Show y'all how all this works here. <laughs> Hello, Aaron. Good to see you. I hope you have a good Christmas, too. You and Lisa both. All right. We're going to load up here. I'm going to start out just with the regular sights. And uh, I'm running a little bit behind because I had to go get the car inspected today. So... Well, we'll get it together. I wanted to be on time. I didn't want to be late on getting started. We get all we need here and then we'll be ready to go. I need a hog collar and a raccoon collar. And we're ready to go. Wife had to go get the car done today, and we were running behind just a little bit uh, on eating lunch. So I wanted to get started on time, so I didn't quite have enough time to get this set up. Okay, we need the raccoon collar. There it is, all right. I hope it helps too. Uh, I really do. All right, we're going to get the wild boar collar and the raccoon collar, and the rest of it, we're in good shape. All right. So, uh, let's go down here and hunt the first stand wild hog. We're going to go down there and hunt wild hog. How far am I away from this stand here? 149 yards. All right. So we're going to rest until 5.30 a.m. And then we're going to go get in the stand. And the hogs are supposed to come through 6 a.m. I have not hunted this island. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Uh, I've been on it. I set up some stands and some feeding zones. Hello, 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 Robin C. But I have not hunted it. Uh, 
So let's talk about the alligator hunting for a minute before we get to that part of the live stream. The alligator hunting is extremely tricky on this game. Uh, when they first put the alligators in this game, it was extremely difficult to hunt the gators. Uh, extremely difficult. They have lightened that up a little bit, but uh, you pretty much got to make a good shot, and you got to shoot him right behind the eye to get him. Now, I shot one yesterday, or day before yesterday, as a test run, and spine shot one, and did get the gator. So this ought to be interesting. Just because we see one, don't mean we're going to get one. There's the feeding zone that we're hunting right there. So now we wait. Well, them hogs are going to come through here. Now I am going to go ahead and get my rifle ready. This is the 7.62 by 30 uh, by 54 R Mosin Nagant. This is my favorite rifle. It takes three through seven animals. I use it for deer, hogs, bears, etc. Uh, and uh, we're going to unscope it just because this is a close shot. And then if it's further out there, then I'll rescope it. But this is the same rifle that I killed the diamond whitetail with on live. And I also did the paint job on this rifle. Some of you have seen it. But I'll show it to you again. There it is. <clears throat> this was a wood rifle in the bottom left-hand corner. This was a wood rifle. And... Uh, it was kind of the uh, beat-up version. So I took the beat-up version and redid it in camo. I did a little camo on the stock, but I did a little green paint on the metal. Um, I kind of like the way it turned out. We wait. <clears throat> so we go down there and we'll hunt the alligators here later. I'm going to have to... I got some places set up to hunt alligators. One of them is from 12 noon in the middle of the day and then one of them is pretty much 8 o'clock at night. And I have set a tree stand up in the water and uh, we're, everybody seems to be very interested in alligator hunting so far so we're going to try to kill a hog first and then we're going to spend a lot of time on the stream uh, looking for alligators. We're going to night hunt one too. I've got some night vision binoculars. I know y'all haven't seen the night vision stuff before unless you're a player of this game. Uh, or unless you watch somebody else that may do this game. But we're going to do the, I'm going to show you the night vision binoculars and scope. And uh, I want you to pay close attention to that because we're going to do a varmint hunt. A night hunt for coyotes. I have that in the, in the works. <clears throat> and uh, we have some fox, and wolves. We're going to do a wolf hunt uh, at night. So I'm locating zones. <clears throat> I have about 10 of these maps. There's a hog out there hollering. He's headed this way. He smells me. As a warning call, let me put some perfume on here. The wind, you, I don't know if y'all can see those particles blowing in the air, but the wind is blowing that way. So that's why he winded me. We're going to see if we can't cover that scent up, and then we're going to give him a call. But we're going to do some wolf hunting. Some coyote hunting, and then wolves will attack you. So we're going to do some of that type of stuff. And I think y'all enjoy the wolf hunting. So eaten by an alligator, quite possibly. <clears throat> now 
Now this is a trial and error right here. I'm going to tell you all, I haven't hunted this. This tripod stand may not be the way to go if I start getting seen. And right now I've been already saw by a hog. So I may have to take this up and put a ground blind down here later. Just a trial and error. Kelly Bullock, good to see you. So I've been working on other maps, kind of opening them up, finding the feed zones. That's the feed zone there in front of us. <clears throat> that little green. This is the resting zone to the right and another feed zone over here. So you have to you have to find those on the map. They automatically don't open up. So I've been running around finding zones on other maps so that I know where to set up to a wolf hunt and some barmen hunting. And that's what we're going to do. And I have to make sure that I'm not standing on top of a pig here because they will walk on the stand. I spent about $100,000, $150,000 in-game money on setting up stands and tents and stuff to do these type of hunts. There's something right there. Is that a hog? Or is that a reflection off a tree? That is not a hog. Uh, so I had to go shoot some ducks and make some more money. <laughs> uh, Uh, Kelly, uh, drop your link to your show tonight. I don't know if it's on yours or K and B's, but drop your link for your show tonight. Kelly's show is on tonight. Let's don't forget about his show. Tonight. NJ. Hello, NJ. We're going to wait to hog hunting out a few minutes, and then we're going to get to the gator hunting. I don't want to show you all one of these pigs. These are feral pigs. Uh, kind of a spotted hog. I haven't saw any deer on this island. I spent quite a bit of time on this island opening up all the feeding and watering and need zones and setting up some stands to hunt out of. There's a hog. Look at that old spotted hog there. What you running for? Come on back here. Uh, he knows I'm here. Of course, he's walked behind the brush. I'm going to scope this rifle for this shot. Look at him. He got his behind turned to me. Turn around, boy. Pontoon Jody. There you go. That's a good piggy. Keep it coming. There's a headshot. <laughs> I did not call you <laughs> a spotted hog. Oh, my God, Jody. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jody's got jokes today. All right, there's a spotted hog down. We're going to leave that hog laying there. Because there'll have to be another hog in a minute. I brain shot him. Let's take a look. Close up look at uh, at, uh, at him, rather. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know. I'm, gonna, a lot, I'm sure a lot of you have hog hunted before. But... That's where you're supposed to shoot a hog in the head. You gut shoot one of these wild hogs. That is the foulest smelling joker when you try to clean it and it'll ruin the meat. So they want you to shoot, you're supposed to shoot a hog in the head or right behind the front, uh, right behind the, <clears throat> right behind the ear rather. Yeah, Jody's got jokes, don't she? <laughs> uh, uh. Way to put me on the spot there, Jody. Oh, my goodness. I'll think of something for Thursday night. (laughs) 
This island is full of those hogs. Now he's trying to get in here. He's trying to slip in here to eat what he's trying to do. Well, we're going to wait a few minutes to see if we can't get another one. And if we can't get another one here in about 10 minutes, we're going to go collect that one and go get the alligator stand. <laughs> Well, I don't know what everybody else's weather is going to be like. We're fixing to get a dose of weather that we're not used to getting. They're talking about single digits here for Lowe's for Christmas week. And highs in the 20s. Now, needless to say, I'm not too thrilled about that. Uh, this part of the world down here is unlike the northern states. When it gets cold down here like that, it has a habit of breaking things, uh, mainly the electricity grid. <laughs> and uh, it's not good. They, they, they'll, they're going to roll up town about 6 o'clock down here if they get any kind of precipitation, frozen precip, they're going to roll up the whole town and go home. Uh, mainly because these fools don't know how to drive on it, but it's not good. Ice in Texas is not a good thing. Now, they're not really calling for any ice and snow, but if it comes any at all, uh, and be like doomsday, they'll shut everything down. I do have a hog collar. Uh, here, go, here, here goes the armchair quarterback. I do have a hog collar, but I'm also sitting on a feeding zone. And if you'd have been on time, you'd have got to see me blow the hog collar the first time. Uh, but to give you your pacifier, there's the, uh, there's the hog collar for you. Yes, ma'am. It is going to affect people. It sure enough is. Uh, there's going to be a lot of folks going to see family on Christmas. Uh, and it's sure going to slow everybody down. Uh, and I hope people drive slowly. And I hope that they, if they can, that they rearrange their schedule and leave early. Because it is going to be... Uh, Dangerous. Uh, I remember one year at Thanksgiving time, it was Thanksgiving Eve. Uh, uh, you got to you gotta kind of manage Kelly a little bit. He'll, he'll, he'll wear you out if you don't, Robin. <laughs> uh I remember one time Thanksgiving Eve when I was uh, working for the, uh, still working for the police department, and it come a winter storm. It snowed, uh, but it was a snow, a mixture of snow and ice. And uh, we knew it was going to do it, but didn't know it was going to do it as much as it did. And anyway, to make a long story short, uh, I think we worked. Uh, 126 vehicles that run off the highway into the medium uh, and tow drivers got rich that night literally uh, and uh, they, they was pulling cars out of the medium left to right and needless to say I did not get to go home till the wee hours of the next morning and I mean after the sun come up uh of all the accidents. Kelly says he ain't, he ain't going to be doing no working on Friday. I don't blame you. Uh, I wouldn't either. And that's probably a smart thing to be doing. There's no sense in wrecking your truck and wrecking yourself trying to go uh, work. If you can't make it, you just can't make it. <laughs> uh 
Oh, well. Yodi, when you stay up all night and all you've had to drink is stale coffee and bad donuts, or maybe it was bad donuts and stale coffee, I can't remember that, but one of the two, uh, I think I went to work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think I finally got to go home at 10 o'clock the next morning, and I rode around the squad car all night and all we did is run from wreck to wreck. It kind of sticks with you. That's all right. You, you fine, Ernie. We just now got started. You filling in for Alvin Lewis? <clears throat> That's just what I need is, an, is Alvin Lewis to get a to get a co-star to fill in for him. <clears throat> that may be the only hog we get. All right. What time is it? Let's see what time it is. 6.36 in the morning. We're going to give it till 6.45 game time and then we're going out of this spot. Fish Lizzie. Hello, Fish Lizzie. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. Dale Hayslip, I believe I said hello to you. If I didn't, I apologize. Hello, Dale. <laughs> uh, Pontoon Lewis. Yeah, that's about right. They are not. Uh, you can use them pretty much exclusively. Uh, I get to talking and should probably use it more than I do, but thanks for the reminder and we'll give out a couple of, we'll toot the horn a little bit. I think Alvin Lewis got two sisters in here today. No, I did not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, my goodness. I got to tell you what. Uh, uh, Jody and, and Robin, they kind of they kind of salty today. I'd hate to be in the boat with them two women at the same time today. They'd have me cutting bait. Let's see if there's any hogs standing out here I don't see. Now, usually them hogs will run more than one. That was the only one I saw out there. All right, let's go get the hog and go see if we can't work up a gator. Because it's going to take a little while to work up a gator. Let me see. I think that hog's over here. Yep. Emily. Hello, Emily. How are you? All right. Let's see what we got here. 
I just don't fair a hog. Perfect brain shot. I'm gonna ease down here at this river bank and look across the river and make sure there's no hogs standing out here in a spot that I didn't. Make sure there's no hogs standing out here on the river bank, rather. And then we're gonna go around there and get in the get in the alligator. And the alligators are all in here. We may even see a gator right here pretty quick, so we'll see. I can locate one. Now I'm easing up here because them gators have got a keen eye. And they will spot you. Oh, what is this? That's a duck. Oh, we're not interested in no duck. We want a gator. That duck there standing on his head. <clears throat> Take a nice, long, close look here. All right. I'm satisfied that that's no gator right there. So let's go over here. And get in the uh, let's go over here and get in this stand over here and see if we can't call up uh, see if we can't locate a gator rather <clears throat> let me let me check on something yeah So actually what we're going to do is we're going to walk uh, down here and see if we can't. I'm going to walk run down here real quick and get in the stand. I'm going to put the time up to 11.30. Gator is supposed to feed there from 12 o'clock until 6. Now there's gators all over these banks. So sometime later when I'm walking down through these banks, I will ease up like I did then. Because sometimes you will come across them just laying on the bank. Now I'm not a very experienced gator hunter, so I'm hoping we at least get to see one. But we're going to give it our best today. All right. <laughs> he said, "We ain't we ain't carrying you nowhere if you get bit by a gator." Well, I haven't been. A, I don't know if gators can actually attack you or not. Uh, but I have been. Attacked by bears and moose, and I did get attacked by wolves the other day. That turned into be a battle. In fact, I think I got I think I got killed by one set of wolves, but I killed five before number six killed me. All right, we're gonna sit right here, and we're gonna look out in the water here. Yes, they can attack you. Okay. Well, we're gonna try not to get attacked by a gator. I'm sure that probably we're gonna hunt this right here for a little while. I'm sure that the gator we probably gonna see. It's probably going to be in this same spot, but at 8 p.m. And I will hunt here for a while 
And if we don't see something, I will fast forward to that time frame. And we'll just keep going back and forth to the time frame until we see one. Uh, I just changed the time as needed. Now sometimes they're laying on the bank. Most of the time they're swimming in the water. <laughs> That'll most definitely get me out of the cold weather that's coming if I get eaten by a gator. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Chris. That's a sad thing at Christmas time. Uh, <clears throat> to lose a family member. It's just a waiting game. Good Lord, there's some alligator tracks right here. There's your gator tracks. Good Lord, four people in three weeks. <laughs> he called me Elizabeth. Oh my goodness. I ain't no telling what you love to hear in here. Well, uh, I know there's some people that's not uh, feeling well during the holidays and, and uh, let's keep Joy and Scott in our thoughts and prayers this Christmas holiday time and for the other folks that's not feeling well. <coughs> Make sure I ain't sitting on top of the gator. That'd be my look. There'll be one come along here in a little while. I settle down a little bit after I made the run over here. This is some dirty water. So let's talk about this map a little bit. I know I've never hunted this map for y'all. It's got deer on it, bear, hogs, alligators, ducks. They put ducks on it on the last update. And there's also bob white quail. I was out quail hunting a little bit this morning. Something I kind of want to get into. I got a few. And, uh. Trying to learn how to hunt the quail. A lot of walking in the quail hunting. Uh, they pay handsomely. $777 a quail. Uh, so we're going to do a, we're going to do a quail hunt one of these days. And there's also red fox. Raccoon in this on this map. Uh, 
I haven't really hunted the raccoons a lot. Uh, I don't even know where to start. And I'll consult with a few people that do it before I get started on it. We might go for an old-fashioned raccoon hunt one of these days. We need a flushing dog. Help a lot if we had a dog flush your quail out. I think we need a tree or I think we need something to tree these raccoons. <clears throat> yeah, I like I like hunting the ducks on here too. It's a lot pays a lot of money in duck hunting. Where's the gator? He said, I'm pretty sure that you will have to look for the gators. I don't think they're much of a roamer. Well, I would have not known that if you hadn't told me, Art. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's certainly not gonna. They're certainly not gonna walk up under me. I can assure you of that. That's why I've been kind of glassing around a little bit. But I think what the deal is is that I, uh. I think what the deal is, is that I uh, probably flushed them out, may have spooked them when I run over here in, in these little towns, sell them back down. <clears throat> well, so... It is just twelve oh five, folks. You see that? You see that zone right there? This is a feeding zone. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm here, and this is the zone, which is right here, right here. And they, they should come here in a few minutes to feed. That's why we're sitting here for just a few minutes. Because usually they'll show up in this zone between 12 and 12.30. So we sit here for a few minutes and then we'll get out and walk the bank. They will come in here to feed on time. Just like you deer do when I tree stand hunt. <coughs> That's why I put the stand here. It wasn't just put here out of blindness. Yeah. Uh, that's why we're waiting a few minutes and then we're going to get out and start walking. In fact, I think that there's two zones here. One here. Yep. This zone runs from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then there's one here that runs from 20 to midnight and then midnight to 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. So these two zones, there's a zone here and then there's a zone here. So I'm hoping we're going to see one. And that's why I got the night visions. But we will get out and walk the bank a little bit. But then we're going to come back here and hunt a little bit, too. <laughs> uh. 
Oh my goodness, J Dog. He said the alligators are angry because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. So when I put these tree stand here, even though I did not hunt this much, I did see some gators here. So I'm thinking they're probably going to be here in a few minutes. This is a little bit different type of hunting than we're used to doing. It's not quite as fast paced as the ducks. But I got faith. Does it give tips out? How do you, you know if you've never used this map? Well, so I didn't say I'd ever used the map. I said I haven't hunted this area of the map. I've hunted on this map. But to answer your question in short is, is that I run the map, opened up all the feeding zones and the watering zones, walked the map, took the landscape in, but I also have friends that are gamers that I get a little advice from too. We trade information uh, back and forth, and uh, I have people that I watch and, and that give uh, information. Uh, I've hunted the map, I just hadn't hunted this island. But I did come down here and set up these stands. And I did come down here and open these zones. And I did a little scouting. I just hadn't hunted it. Hadn't fired a shot on it, so to speak. And the reason I didn't is because I wanted to preserve this from when, without putting a lot of hunting pressure on this to do this live because I wanted to try to get a gator. He said use the truck. Oh my goodness. So speaking of the truck game. Uh, we're going to wait. Ten more minutes. And then we're going to up the time to eight o'clock. And go night vision. Uh, and then we'll get out and walk the bank. With a night vision. They have a new DLC, and Lord have mercy, it is, an, it is a winter DLC with ice. And I haven't bought it yet, but it looks very entertaining. Now, can y'all see me driving that truck on ice and snow? Too bad you can't use that pig for bait. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we're going to give it 10 more minutes here and then we're going to bump it up to night time and sit here a little bit longer and then we're going to get out and walk because they don't tell them what we love to see at night walking the bank. We love to see gators and foxes and hogs. Those alligators do roll them out in the middle of this lake. I just roam around out here. That's why I keep looking. <clears throat> See all these yellow and green markers? All this stuff here is all this was all blank. I unlocked all this. These are basically feeding zones and resting zones. And they're, they're pretty much all over this map. I've only unlocked part of this map. I haven't unlocked all these zones. Right here is where you quail and your pigs and etc. I mean, there's obvious spots. Uh, I'm working on this one now. And these, there's going to be some in here pretty much like it is up here. 
but it's a bunch of scouting is what it is. Uh, Jody said, uh, Jody said, J Dog is honorary because he got all them teeth that don't milk bones. <laughs> uh, she, she got you, J Dog. She got you good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all something. Milk bones will give you gas. And before I get asked, no, I did not eat milk bones. I had a dog that I give milk bones to one time before I knew any better. And that joker had the bad gas and he was a police dog and he had him in the back seat of that squad car and he like choked us out one night. Needless to say, that joker did not get any more milk bones. And that's what it was, is milk bones. I'd give him gas. They didn't agree with him. All right. <clears throat> we give it a fair shake. Oh, I don't drown here. Let's get up here and put the tent down. Look, there's a. That's what a zone looks like. That's one right here. And I unlock that. That's an alligator resting zone. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, let's go let's go under the cover of darkness and see if we can't have better luck. <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't think she's. I don't. I don't think you need to ask her that. I think she's already decided it about going because she's she's putting on the she's already fired the opening salvo there buddy uh with the milk bone <laughs> oh my goodness that's why i love doing these because ain't no telling what i love to see in here uh golly all right make sure i got all my right equipment here Somewhere or another, I picked up a duck by mistake. I'll have to figure out where that joker goes. All right, let's bump it up to 745. That is... I think that is 1,800. Let me check, make sure I do this right. Yeah. 1745 hours. Let's do it at 1740. All right, let's go get the stand here and see if we can't have better luck. It's going to get dark in a minute. One of the reasons why I haven't done one of these gator hunts before because I had never played this map a whole lot. I got so many maps for this game. You really can't get to them all. Can you shine for eyes? I have night vision binoculars. So basically, there's a coon over there somewhere. I have night vision binoculars and a rifle scope. So what we're going to do is we're going to, when it gets dark, we're going to put night vision on. And then we'll look around here a few minutes and then we'll get out and walk the bank. And hopefully I don't step on one of them alligators. I know if I get attacked by an alligator, it will not be a big disappointment to you folks. 
but I'm going to try not to step on one of them. But I'm very disappointed because I figured we'd see one right here, but we haven't saw one yet. Uh, and I seen them the other day, and this is why I put this stand here. But I got to tell you, I'm kind of new at this, so. If we don't see one today, I will spend some time on this and find us an alligator spot. Plenty of ducks. <clears throat> oh Lord. <clears throat> Jody's talking about playground rules. Well, we may not see no alligator, but we're fixing to see a we fixing to see a battle going on here in just a few minutes. Oh, what was that? What the world? That duck scared the devil out of me. That joker scared me to death. I thought that was a gator then jumped up out of the water. See y'all got me gun shy now thinking I'm gonna step on the gator. Oh my lord. That thing splashed down. I thought that was a gator. What's that? Oh. Ducks. Ducks. Hello, <clears throat> Steve. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a, a referee suit on Steve. Somebody got to referee them too. It'd be like two roosters in a pen. They'll be spurring each other in a minute. <laughs> Gator bait, yes sir, show sure is. I feel more hopeful now that we might see one. We're going to get out and walk the bank and see one anyway. We're just an hour in. we got a long time to go yet. I think we're going to see one. I really do. Brian B. Catfishing. Brian B., you might have to referee uh, Jody and J Dog for me here in a minute. Uh, I need a I need a seasoned YouTube referee here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I hear that I hear old Jalen Hurts is not going to play against the Cowboys on Sunday. Don't worry, it ain't gonna hurt them. I'm so mad at them cowboys right now. That burned duck, get out of here. Uh, you go off and you and you lose to Jacksonville. But what started me getting mad was the week before when I went up he went, went off there and, and skinned by and lost to, almost lost to Houston. And then you go up and lose to Jacksonville. Uh -uh. Uh, I told my wife, I said, yeah, they limping in the playoffs. They gonna be if they if they make it, they're gonna be one and done. What's going on, Eric? Papa Smurf has made it into the house. Come on, alligator.
I think they still got a chance to get in. Uh, oh, Chucky, how are you? Good to see you. I think they still got a chance to get in, but it ain't gonna do no. It ain't gonna make no difference. All right, we're fixing to go. We're fixing to get dark here in a minute. Maybe we'll see one. It ain't gonna make no difference. They gonna lose, and they, they, they playing. They playing sorry football. Uh, you go up to Houston. Houston won one game all year. Uh, and you go up there, and you and you almost lose to them. Listen, I could take five. Uh, people, uh, handicapped people, and and six from the rest home, and probably beat Houston. And and you go up there, you and you you take them to the last to, to beat them. And I knew then we had a problem. <laughs> I knew it was going. I knew it was going to spill over. I had a bad feeling that game was going to spill over uh, till the next week. And they did. They went up there and they they got a big lead on Jacksonville. And they think, oh yeah, we got things fixed. We're back to normal. And they go up and lose the big lead. That, that don't make no sense. I love the Cowboys, but every time I start to feel good about them, they do something to make me <laughs> uh, make me regret you feeling good about them. Good night. Uh, <clears throat> all right. All right, you got it. That's Dallas for you. You got it. All right, let me map out something here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to map out alligators. Alligators. What's going on, Martin? How are you? What is that I hear? I hear something. Oh, come on. All right. <clears throat> we have sat here as long as we're going to sit here. Oh, I didn't fell in the creek. That was not good. All right. We're going to... We're going to bump the time up. And we're going to go night vision for a while and see if we can't dig up something else. Let's go night vision for a while. 
said she's doing an impression of an alligator creeping up on me. Well, somebody needs to do one. So I'm going to put the night vision scope on both rifles. And I'm going to trade out these binoculars for the night visions. <clears throat> Has somebody hit that me, please? Miss Jody. Yep, right scope. Right scope. All right, we're going night vision. We're going we're going to dig up something. We're going to go to. We're going to go to nine p.m. Twenty one hundred hours. All right. <clears throat> Give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. I got to wipe my eye out. My eyes itching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of that. Whoever got that, appreciate it. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. All right, let's just see if we can walk the bank. Let's see if we can dig up something. <clears throat> Ernie, we don't want no stinking snow. All right, we're going to crouch down and we're going to walk the bank here and start glassing. Now, we're probably going to dig up a raccoon or... something now, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, as a hog, as a hog, let's bust a pig. If I can get the gun up on him in time. Ah, you joker. There's another hog back here. Let's bust a pig.
What is that? I think that was a raccoon. These pigs ought to be coming around. There's some glowing pig poo. All right. Now listen, hog. I may get charged here. Oh, good grief. Don't you? You better go the other way, big boy. Every hog in the country is right here now. Oh. Yeah, it's dark, and this may not turn out too good. There's a porky pig out here. I'm gonna see if I can get a scope on him. I think every critter in the country decided to come out after dark. <clears throat> so the binoculars are a little bit better than the scope. As far as seeing stuff, the scope probably needs to be upgraded somewhat. But we're going to try this, and I don't night hunt much, so I'm not a pro. This is one of these hunts where I'm necessarily not trying to look like the hometown hero. We're just doing something else in hopes that we can stumble across a, a gator and get a shot. I do have a headlamp that I can use if I need to. We're just going to walk in glass. And hopefully they will run across a, a gator. Right up here is a zone. I want to run up here and get this zone right here in front of us. That's a fox. That's an alligator zone. Uh, the coyote hunting is going to be and the wolf hunting with these night visions is going to be great. Uh, once I get everything set up to do it. Froggy, froggy. Now this, this is gators. Gators right up here. Good to see you, froggy. Froggy, we could get some cold weather. 
coldest it's been around here in a long time. See, we're all right up in here in the resting zone of those gators. There's two zones right there, resting zones. So I'm hoping that we're going to get up here and spot one. And I'm going to be able to put a shot on one. Ah. We're going to go out tomorrow night, the wife and I, I think we're going to go look at Christmas lights and go eat. We're well, going to do it Saturday. That is not going to happen because of the weather. So we're going to do it tomorrow night. Yeah, it's it's going to be cold here, Froggy. It's going to be really cold. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there's a gator. Where are you? There's a gator here somewhere. I heard him. All right. We got a, we got a glass for him here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Uncle Lou, there's a gator, I think, right there. He is way out there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, that's a gator. There he is. All right, we're going to see if he's going to come this way. That's a big gator. Good night. All right, he's way out there, way too far for me to shoot. So we're going to look, we're going to wait here a minute and see if he'll pop up closer. But we're going to start working our way around that way. So let me, let me mark that real quick on the map. Where's that sucker at? Uh... Right there. All right. We got him marked. We're going to start working our way around there. Skater hunting is not easy, I can tell you that. All right, let's start working on it. Uncle Lou says it's going to be beautiful. Oh, look, 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 look. He's coming in. All right, here we go, folks. Here's the shot on the alligator. It's going to be interesting. I need a better shot than this, but we're going to try it anyway. Turn. Come on. Come on, dude. Keep coming, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
I don't know. I don't know. I think that the bullet skipped off the water the second, third shot, but I think the first shot may have hit home. We're going to find out. <clears throat> well, That very well be that very well may be the case, Art. I guess we're fixing to find out. I hit him the first time. But now whether we get him or not. I do know that it used to be that way. Uh But when I shot one the other day, I hit the spine and killed him. So I don't know if they changed it to the vitals or not. But we should find out here in a few minutes. A lot of times they'll pop up. When I shot the other day, popped up after a few minutes. What is this? Uh... A good grief. Well, that's nothing like standing on top of a dead carcass. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we're standing right up on a dead carcass here. If he don't pop up, that means I got to shoot him in the head. And, and I don't see him popping up. So we're going to go to walking again. and We like to stir one up. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be unseasonably cold here. Uncle Lou said it's gonna be beautiful. I got distracted from that. Uh, there's nothing beautiful uh, about that cold weather, in my opinion, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, wheelchairs do not do good on ice. Uh, I am not a fan. So we're going to walk here and kind of glass and look. Hopefully we can get a hiss out of one and this time we're going to take a headshot. I told y'all I'm most decent alligator hunter. But at least we got to see one. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Yes, sir. I will have to agree. This place looks just like a dad burned Mississippi River. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go look at Christmas lights tomorrow. 
and then we're gonna stay home the weekend and while it's cold and uh, watch Christmas movies. We had planned to do the opposite, but the weather is going to dictate a change of plans. I'm just scanning here. Not a lot of people do this alligator hunting on lives, and this is why. Uh, it's tough. It's not an easy project to do. And most of you big time gamers uh, that have a lot of uh, subscribers, uh, they're looking for action. A lot of action. Uh, fortunately for me, I don't have to worry about that too much because mine's more of a gathering and chatting and play a game while we talk type thing. Uh, but a lot of the gamers won't, won't do a live on this because it's just so difficult to uh, bag these alligators. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, he's looking so fast. How in the world can he uh, tell if there's anything? And there's one right there. That's the same gator, I think. All right. <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to try to shoot him in the head this time. And we're going to zero here. See how hard of a shot that's going to be? That is going to be a difficult shot. No way. We'll have to wait till he stops. He wants some action. <laughs> I'm working on it. Oh my goodness. Let him get close. That's, well, I'm going to try. But he's got a mind of his own. But we're going to try to see if we can't let him come this way a little bit. We'll wait here a minute and see what happens. This is certainly not duck hunting. I can tell you that. Anyway, back to what I was saying before. When you're scanning like that, it's got a pop-up feature. Uh, if I run across an animal, it'll pop a spot animal icon up. Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you're right. But with this scope, the zooming power on this scope is not as good as the scope that I normally use. There's a fox. Wait a minute. There's something right here. There is something right here. He 
if I can get it to spot. What is that? That might have been that gator. It's moved in closer. I ought to be telling me he's dizzy in a minute. It's a what? <laughs> it's a chupacabra. Or a vampire. Uh, uh, yeah, James, he, he kind of gives you a kind of gives you a little bit of a fit with them with them legend stories, don't he? We're going to ease up here and see what that was. Cause something was on the other side of this brass. But I couldn't quite tell what it was. She says, I hate the vampires. Oh, my goodness. Whatever that was is gone now. I don't know what that was, what that could have been. I couldn't spot it. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> he said, don't lay in the gator turd. I, I love to do it. Oh, my goodness. So, I was uh, duck hunting the other day. I thought of you, Art. I looked down on the end of the blind down there and there was a, a duck turd sitting on the foot of the blind down there, down there where my feet were at. And I thought, boy, if Art saw that, he'd have fun with that. That's all you talk about is poo and farts. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too, Art. I mean, uh, Martin. I just, what? I just passed a gator on the bank.
Uh, he was walking. I did, I showed him, see. Which is quite possible that I didn't see him. All I see in here is a quail. Oh. Well, I made a liar out of me, didn't it? Well, there's a gator here. But can I get a spot on him? Oh, there he is, behind the dead burned tree. Let me get this rifle ready. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Here we go. Ah, be still. Uh -uh. He's right there for the taking if he'll just turn around. Come on, turn around, big boy. <laughs> Ernie oh my god Ernie I just got to be patient here folks he's walking around out there if he'll come on out in the, in the open I can get a spot on him come on come on dude Yeah, Ernie about to get himself in trouble. I can see that coming already. Come on. <clears throat> He's right here. Come on out of that grass, you joker. There he is. Uh oh. I may be fixing to get charged. I like I'm getting charged.
Folks, this is problematic. I can't tell where he's at. I don't know where he went. <laughs> oh my goodness. He went right in through here. Okay. Let's see if I can relocate. I, he started to charge me. Last thing I seen was him beady eyes coming. All right. See that flashing right there? He went right in through there. Gonna walk a little bit. That gator was right there, it took off. <clears throat> now, if I'd have been day hunting, I'd have had a chance to get him, but don't fall in a hole. All right, so let's do this. Let's go back to walking and see if we can get a hiss and then locate one. He, <laughs> he said them island gators is bad about climbing a tree. I hope they ain't one of the tree. And these gators are not easy to hunt. And like I said, this is why that a lot of people don't do lives on it because... It is challenging. And then, on top of that, you see that little window there. You see I tried to shoot that gator in the uh, vitals. And I hit the gator. I hit the, where the gator was outline was at, but it skipped off the water. So that means you got to head shoot the son of a gun. And you're trying to head shoot a gator at night with a rifle. Uh... Yeah, it's challenging. This, <laughs> this is why I wanted to uh, try to get one in the daytime because I knew this night stuff was going to be challenging. But <clears throat> it's like everything else with this game. I'll work at it until we get it, and then we'll come back to it. But while my, while my, while Steve's in here, I want to thank Steve for being a good sport, letting me use the thumbnail, uh, for today's live. I did send it to him and ask him, and he's a good sport. And said, "Yeah, go ahead." So I appreciate you, buddy. Alvin Lewis. Well, Alvin, you'd be pleased to know that we're gonna we're gonna fast travel up here, and then I'm gonna go down the other bank. You would be <clears throat> glad to know uh, 
that Jody has represented you well today and given me a fit. I'm fixing to tell you. She said she is representing Alvin Lewis today. She did a good job of it. <clears throat> Steve said somebody's going, the game warden is on the way out there to see who's on my island. Now you need a house like this right here to fish out of. It's even got a state Mississippi flag hanging from it. You need a catfishing house like that. Learn from the best. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alvin Lewis, I put your uh I put your name out there the other night for uh jigs on for Jody's live. All right, we're going to make one more last ditch attempt before today's lives over with. And there's a zone right here. And we're going to walk this bank. And uh, see if we can maybe see one more gator to shoot at oh and we do all right we're just gonna crouch down right here there's a five medium <clears throat> i'm gonna have to keep my eye on him because there's no way i can hit him from 330 yards not get a head shot but he's headed this way. Come on in here, big boy. Well, sure would be sweet if I could pull this off at the end of this live stream today. Keep the binoculars on him, Troy. All right. He's going to come back up. So we're just going to wait. And see if he'll. This is going to be our best shot to get one right here, folks. He's just waiting. And see if he'll come back up. And give us a shot. It's gonna be the best shot right here to get one. So we gotta get lucky. He said, get, well, I can't walk out in the water, I'll drown. <laughs> uh, so there's nowhere to get closer because I'd have to walk right around the lake and then by that time I spooked him off. So what I got to do is just be patient here and wait. And hopefully he's going to come back up and hopefully he does. He will come up a little bit closer so I can get a shot. That's what we got to do. I'm here and I have to walk way around here to get over there to the other side so there's just no feasible way right behind the eyeball yeah yeah i know it i killed one the other day i shot uh on another part of the reserve and i think i got lucky and hit it in the spine and i thought well maybe they changed it 
where you don't have to shoot them behind the eyeball. And I tried that tonight, or today, and that failed miserably. So yes, it's going to have to be right behind the eyeball. That is the old sweet spot. So we're going we're gonna to wait and see what happens. We got about, we got a few minutes before the day's lives over with. Maybe I can pull this off at the last second. We'll wait just a few minutes and then we'll get up and walk around a little bit more. Seems like every time I start to walk, I stir one up. This is a big challenge to hunt these gators. I remember when this first come out, uh, <clears throat> this gator hunting thing. I'm gonna walk on down a little bit. I remember this gator hunting thing come out. The reason I'm walking down here is there's another zone down here. There might be another gator down here. Uh, That's good news, Alvin Lewis. Yeah, that's what mine pretty much tells me. Come back in a year. Uh, I remember when they first come out with this gator hunting. Everybody was thrilled about it. And then they found out how hard it was going to be. <laughs> and that shied a lot of people away from it. Uh, there's a bear out here somewhere. That's just what I need, a bear on one side of me and a gator on the other. Uh, it shied a lot of people away from it. I think probably they'll try to rework this one of these days. They're famous for putting something out like this and it's hard to it's hard to master or it's people don't want to put the time in on it. I mean, we've been going at it, what, almost an hour and a half. I killed a hog and then we started gator hunting. And we've got one shot, which was a blunder. So they want to keep it as realistic as they can, but they want to keep it... Uh, they want to keep it just enough arcadish to make it fun. Uh, because, you know, I mean, it's a game. If nobody's, if nobody's having any luck and enjoying it and not successful at it, they're not going to play it. Uh, uh, he said they're both ringing the dinner bell. Yeah, that'd be my luck. So they got to keep it. They got to keep it realistic as they can, but they got to they got to straddle the line of it's still a video game, and they can't make it too hard because people don't have the time to invest in it. Uh, you know, people work and have lives, and they don't have time to invest in it. Uh, I got plenty of time to play because my wife works during the daytime and uh, and uh, I got too much time on my hands, <laughs> but everybody ain't me either. Uh. Yeah, you better get them pipes wrapped up. Well, I'll tell y'all something. I live in an apartment complex, and hopefully that we don't have what happened to us a couple of years back. Everything around here froze up. 
I'm headed right there because there's another zone over here. Uh, everything around here froze up. And uh, busted all the pipes in this apartment complex. I was out of water for several days. And we went through a year of construction because one of the pipes on froze. It flooded everything except I. It didn't flood my apartment, but it did flood a lot of these apartments, and they had to rebuild and remodel them. And it was severe water damage. They stripped them down to studs. Uh, and I'm fixing to tell you that me and my wife have done already decided that if that happens again, we ain't staying here through no another year of construction. We gone. So I hope they got them pops wrapped good. Uh, Cause we leaving. <laughs> We're not going to have it. That was a, a year of construction. I don't know how many of you live in an apartment complex, but a year of construction uh, with him banging and beating on everything and carrying on. Well, they're pretty much not only rebuilding the apartments, but remodeling them all, especially when you have two small dogs. Uh, well, let's just put it this way, in shot, that make you become an alcoholic pretty quick. <laughs> uh, we're not doing that again. Uh, I ain't getting no gator. No. I saw a gator, but I didn't get him. I probably ain't going to get no gator today. That's gonna be like the, that's gonna be like the duck hunting was. That's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be one of them things that's gonna be a work in progress. <laughs> he said, "Y'all trying to get me eat is what y'all trying to do." Uh. We're going to make one more attempt. We're going to run over here. I'm going to make one more attempt at this. I'm going to go back over here. We all at the two hour mark. We're going to go over a little bit today. If y'all want to stay fine. We're going to run over here and get in this boat. And we're going to go back over here to the stand and we're going to set the time. And we're going to give it 20 minutes of real actual time and we're going to see if we can't get a gator. Because this going right here is going to be our best shot. Because it's not only the right time zone, but it's going to be the closest shot yardage wise of what I need to make this shot. So we're going to try it. I'm going to run over here, be there in just a second. We're going to reset the time to midnight. And we're going to sit here 15, 20 minutes and we're going to chat a minute and see if I can't get one more last ditch effort. No ma'am, once you get in the boat, it takes you straight across. Uh, we wanted them to do the boats uh, where we could run up down the bank and uh, that's something we're hoping they're going to do later. But you just get in the boat and it takes you straight across. I'm going to uh, to uh, play uh, 
probably do a fishing, the new fishing game on Thursday. Let me find this stat burn stand here. All right. Is this the right one? This ain't even the right dad burn stand. Uh, we're going to run down here to this other stand. I'm going to play the fishing game on Thursday. Uh, they've added a new map. I haven't even opened the map yet. I have purchased it. I've been playing this. I've been trying to unlock some ground and some of these other maps so that we can do some different type of hunting. But I'm going to play the fishing game on Thursday. If it'll let me. Uh, they've had some they've had some bugs and the last time I tried to play it on live it ended up kicking me out of it two or three times. So then that we had to switch gears in the middle of the live and just go to the hunting game. But I'm going to close this out today and I'm going to play fishing the rest of the day and tonight. I want to go to the Norway map and catch some fish. Mix a little. I got people that like to see the fishing too. So we're going to mix that in a little bit. All right, I'm going to set the time to 3 o'clock. Let me read what Alvin Lewis wrote. Now, this, I can already tell you, this show is going to be a message, a clown message. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh, <clears throat> so, just for the record, any time that Alvin Lewis takes the time to write that long of a message, it's going to be... It's going to be a clown message. I'm, I'm fixing the tea. <laughs> oh, Alvin Lewis. Good grief. We're going to set this for 11.50. The zone starts at midnight. 2350. And we're going to jump in the stand and we're going to make one last ditch effort to get a gator. Just because I hate to be beat. <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all, it's going to be like the duck hunting was. I was bad at it and I'm going to be unsuccessful at this, but there will be revenge. Let me see what I already... <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm famous enough to put somebody on hold, Ernie. Oh my goodness, we're gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna. I tell you something else. It's, it's uh, I'm gonna put a little cover sand on. I don't know if that makes a difference for the gators or not. I'm gonna tell you something else too that's tough on this game that I found out. Your dad burned raccoons is tough. Well, I know I got a few folks in here tonight, or tonight, Lord, it's the middle of the day, that use a, a CPAP machine, and I also use one. Uh, I tell you what, I, I have to, Medicare only buys one headgear every six months. Well, my headgear don't last six months. The Velcro on that dead burnt thing wears out and it won't stay on. I have to buy buy a couple out of pocket. I had to buy, I bought pack this order two this morning. Uh, uh, my wife says it's because I got a big head. <laughs> uh, I wear them out because I got a big head, and I tell her it's, <clears throat> I have a big head because I have a a extremely large brain, because uh, I'm a I'm a great thinker. Now she don't buy that, but I tell her that anyway. But 
But my headgear wears out. I have to buy I have to buy new headgear all the time. <laughs> okay. I will be here. I get a I get down here, it's time for me to get a drink and a little a little bit of uh Uh, adult candy. <clears throat> we are waiting. We're going to wait. We're going to try to see if we can get lucky. Look, there's some gator tracks. Uh, now, uh, it's in a, uh, it's in a skull can. <laughs> Croy don't, Croy, you know, I used to, I don't hardly drink anymore. Uh, it don't agree with me. I'm not much of a drinker. I'll have a, a drink now and then, but I don't know. I'm old. I'd rather drink tea. Come on, alligator. I'm going to tell y'all something. It pains me to fail. <laughs> it really does. I'm going to be after these gators showing up now. Oh, my goodness. See, that's tracks. Those gators are around here somewhere. Yeah, me too. I drank tea, coffee. I drank, drank that stuff most of the day. Uh, I don't drink. I can't. I just don't care for it. Uh, I know a few people that. Uh, drank quite a bit and uh, oh there's a there's a gator been eating right there I know a few people that, that I've had in my life in the past that drank a little bit too much and have made a complete clown out of themselves. that sort of turns me off a little bit I just don't care to drink much anymore I am a tea man too, Ernie. I drink tea and coffee. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I know it. I'm kind of full of it, but uh, you have no idea, Steve Adams. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Ain't no dad burnout gator out here. Well, what time is it? What time is it? Game time. We are going to give it 10 more minutes 
of real life time and then I'm done. <clears throat> We're going to give it 10 more minutes. And this is going to be one of those lives where the hunt was not overly successful. And we're going to have to have a Gator Revenge Live. And I'm going to have to spend some time learning how to hunt these dadgum gators. I'm going to have to consult with some of my fellow gaming friends about what's the best approach. Usually you can put up a stand over a feeding zone like this and have a little success. This has been a flop today, but I guess if you're successful 100% of the time, it would not be any fun when you were successful. It's kind of like fishing. It is not from lack of effort today. So we will be back on Thursday. And <clears throat> we're going to play the angler, Call of the Wild. When I get out of this today, I'm going to turn that on and start getting things ready for that. Show you all a different game. Of course, the truck driving game will be back next week. Live chicken. Uh -uh, well, so, uh, Steve, in some of these fields out here, they've got these big pipes and pumps. Now, they try to make these maps realistic to the state. Do they have big pipes and pumps and fields in Mississippi? I figured you'd know. They look like some kind of irrigation system. Should have took a picture of it, I guess. I just don't know what they are. They got to be somewhere in Mississippi. They wouldn't put them in this, on this map. But live chicken. Well, live chicken to catch a catfish. It ought to catch a gator. I irrigation. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It's what it looks like. Well, they're, they're famous for putting, trying to keep it realistic to the, to the uh, map or to the place they're trying to mimic. So it's got to be somewhere in Mississippi that. Yeah, well, I think we have done all we can do ourselves today. We're going to have to revisit this. <clears throat> I 
appreciate y'all. Y'all on a minute date. I'm sorry that we did not get to get a gator. But we will try that again. At another time. And hopefully I can get a gator next time. Uh, or put one in the lodge. I'm going to take y'all to the lodge one of these days. And make a walk through. And let y'all see the lodge when I get some few more animals in there. I've got a couple of deer and a couple of uh, red deer. The two diamonds that I have in there is in the lodge. And i got some diamond ducks. But I'm trying to build it up a little bit. We do a, we're going to do a lodge walkthrough. And you'll be able to see all the animals that I have taken and taxidermed. Uh, lodge walkthrough is kind of a fun thing to do. But you got to have some animals in there first. So I've been trying to taxiderm. Uh, but I don't want I do quality animals, just diamonds or rare fur types or uh, I killed a logistic duck the other day and did put it uh, in the lodge. but I'm gonna get off here and I'll see y'all on the next trip Thursday. We're gonna play a fishing game and talk. I'm glad y'all come in and join me. It's good to see y'all. I enjoy your company very much. And I'll see you Thursday at 1 o'clock. And uh, I'll see you before then probably in chat. And Albert Lewis, try real hard to behave yourself. I know it's difficult, but you've got to try. <laughs> uh, appreciate y'all. Uh, go ahead and give me a call, Ernie. I'll be waiting on you to call. Bye.